uh, I'm the youngest in the family. My siblings are graduates, uh, so I'm the rotten banana in the family. I was away from Singapore for a very long time. I came back two years ago because I was retrenched. With my education level, there's no way I'm going to be an engineer. So I decided that I want to better myself by taking a part-time diploma. It was tough. I have to juggle between family, work, as well as studies. Getting a job was really tough in Singapore. Being past 50 was really hard. It was totally a new ball game. I'm always worried with my work performance. Sometimes I need to be absent from work to attend schools uh, as well as exams. Uh, so I always get advice from my union leader and he gave uh, you know, uh, good advice in terms of company policies. My wife was in the union for quite some time and there was uh, some uh, issue with her employer. So I wrote in to uh, the union. Immediately after the second day, they already called my wife. That is fast. Eh? So I think it would be better for me if I join the union too. At least I have a mountain behind me. I've been a union leader for 40 over years. In fact, I started as a director employee in PUB. And then I joined the PUB staff union. Over the years, you know, I managed to overcome it, of course, uh, through the support of my supervisors, uh, union leaders, as well as uh, very supportive families. I, I discovered my passion uh, in teaching only a couple of years back as a training manager and I'm enjoying every second of it because I always believe that training is an important aspect in life. I couldn't find a job for the first year. My wife brought me to the E2I in Topayo. At the E2I, I met my coach, Winston. He sent me to a three-day course and that was where I learned how to present ourselves and how to write the resume. After a couple of months, uh, E2I sent us email asking us to go for job fair. That's where I met my employer. When the retrenchment exercise took place, one good aspect of it was we started negotiating with the company very much earlier. So we worked with NTUC to see whether we can match a job for them. Some of them got employed immediately, but some waited for a period of time. But we monitored their movement also. Like we made sure that they are able to get a new job in time. Yeah, we, we had one member going through the fourth stage of cancer. So we said, okay, we will try to see how best we can help his wife, you know. So the managing director was kind enough to say, okay, can we find a job for his wife? She was reluctant because she couldn't speak English. And the main reason she says that even she goes to work, who is going to take care of the kids? So I managed to convince her after a few days. And then when she started to work, I made sure that she go through all the training, you know, where she can pick out the basic English. And then on one MRT journey, this kid, you know, came in salam. I asked him and he says, no, my mother told me to do so. Then only I realized that she's sitting there, you know, so she was telling the kids, these are the people who help me and they help you to study. This type of compliments keeps a leader going, you know. You are a leader, believe in yourself, be yourself, don't be afraid of management. Take them as your partners. She take care of me. One of the most important part, someone uh, taking care of you. I'm, I'm the ardent fan of uh, lifelong learning. And I always believe that you have to create an opportunity for yourself. In order to, to have that opportunity, you must uh, upgrade yourself. I think the, for me, is a passion to serve. I believe in serving nothing else. Union can never be functioned by one person. We need to have a group of dedicated leaders. 